you tell yourself enough that you can do something or that you are something, do you believe it? Hey, what's going on my YouTube family? So, you made it through another week. Friday is officially in the books. Did you guys have a great day today? Did you guys have a positive day? I hope you guys did. Today was a good day for me. Any big plans for this weekend? I hope you guys do. I hope you get a chance to get out and enjoy yourself. So let's talk about repetition. Repetition of something like affirmations leads to belief. You tell yourself enough that you can do something or that you are something, you believe it. So once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. It's the same thing when you're wanting to obtain your goals. You need discipline. Considering that so much of what we do on a daily basis is habit-driven, developing the right habits will help to instill the right amount of discipline into our lives. So how do we achieve discipline in our lives? I'm going to give you five simple steps that will help develop discipline. Step number one, removing temptation. Removing all temptations and distractions from your environment is the first step when working to improve your discipline. So, say you're trying to lose weight, or you're trying to eat healthy. What's one of the biggest temptations? Junk food. So, what do you do? You toss away all the junk food in your house. Start clean. Don't have stuff around that's gonna make you stumble. Step number two, eat regularly and healthy. In order to stay on track, Make sure that you're well fueled throughout the day with healthy snacks and meals every few hours. When you're hungry, you can't concentrate. Like one of my biggest, my biggest things that I used to struggle with was eating. I wouldn't eat three meals a day. I would usually have, I'd skip breakfast completely and then I'd have a mediocre lunch. But then I would go have a big dinner and a few hours later, I'd eat something else. I'd usually go down and grab a burger or go to 7-Eleven, which isn't healthy. Try breaking down your meals into smaller portions, eating every few hours, every three hours or so. Small portions and healthy, po healthy foods. It will allow you to help concentrate throughout, the, throughout your day. You won't be worried about where you're gonna eat next or what you're going to eat, you already know. It becomes a habit. Step number three, don't wait for it to feel right. Improving your self-discipline means changing up your normal routine, which can be uncomfortable and awkward. Breaking a bad habit and building a new habit not only requires us to make active decisions, sometimes it'll feel wrong. Your brain will tell you that it's not right you'll resist the change in favor of what your normal routine used to be. Well, the solution, embrace the wrong. Acknowledge that it will take a while for your new routine to feel right or good. So keep chugging along, keep pushing forward, it'll happen. Step number four, schedule breaks, treats, and reward yourself. Self-discipline doesn't mean your new routine needs to be entirely cold turkey, hardcore, or drill sergeant-like. Giving yourself zero room for mistakes will often lead to failure, disappointment, and giving in to your old ways, reverting back to your old routine. Will you practice self-control Schedule specific breaks, treats, and rewards for yourself. Self-discipline can be hard, so reward yourself. If you're trying to lose weight, 
take Saturday and treat yourself to an ice cream sundae. If you're trying to be better at saving money, give yourself $50 that you can go spend on, on Saturday. Leave your credit cards at home. Stuff like that. If, you're, if your goal is to lose weight and continue um, to, to get in better shape, to work out, then, I don't know, book yourself a massage once a month as a treat. So step number five, forgive yourself and move forward. When you start changing your thinking patterns and instant, instituting a new way of thinking, it won't always go according to plan. You'll have ups and downs, successes and failures. Well, the key is to keep moving forward. When you have a setback, make sure you acknowledge what caused it and move on from it. It's easy to get wrapped up in our guilt, our anger, or our frustrations. But these emotions will not help improve your self-discipline. Instead, use the fail failures in your plan as learning experiences for the future. The longer you're off your game, the harder it is to keep going in a positive direction. So I hope that helps you a little bit more to achieve your goal and develop better habits to achieve self-discipline and move towards achieving your goals. I hope you guys have an awesome Saturday. I have to work for part of the day and it's an early morning. So I had to take care of that and then I'll probably just get together with um, a friend and not, not really sure what we're gonna do. Probably go grab a bite to eat and but we'll see what comes around tomorrow. So until tomorrow, you guys, have a great day and a positive day. Spend some time with family and friends. And don't forget, take it one day at a time and one step at a time.